ever felt stuck? Being stuck can feel so uncomfortable and it's just a, it's a icky place to be, right? If you're feeling stagnant, you're feeling like, oh gosh, like that feeling of, oh Lord, do I have to do this again? If you're feeling any of that, guess what? <laughs> when we are stuck, it means we have outgrown a situation in our lives. And sometimes that is really hard, right? Because sometimes there's still things that we really like about whatever we've been doing. It feels comfortable because we're not really being challenged all that much. We can do it just like so easy. There's, there's no real learning to it. It's just, it's just stagnant though. It's not growing. So there's like this weird thing of, well, it's still on some level, it's still working. It still kind of feels comfortable, but on this level, I'm not growing or expanding. And that's what I really want to do. So I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Here is my philosophy on this. And I'm not going to say I am I'm not going to say that I have it mastered because I don't, but I'm real big on when something is getting kind of boring or stagnant, let's shake it up. Let's figure out some way to start changing where you're going, changing the people that you're around, change your scenery and the locations you're in a lot start to think about just shaking it up a little bit. So one of the things that you can start doing right away and it might feel a little bit odd or might even sound a little bit vain is you can start changing your appearance. Change your hair, change your, uh, your clothing, maybe even change your makeup. Or if, for you guys out there, if you have a beard, you could change your beard up. Change your appearance a little bit and try to take on a little bit of a different persona and make it a person that you really want to be. Make it kind of maybe mysterious or fun or adventurous. If you were to become that, how would this person look? looking at your habits how can you start to change up your habits i want you to really look at your day and what are you in kind of like autopilot mode on look at those things that you're just doing now granted sometimes habits are really good like i have a morning routine that just works for me and it's literally like put this foot in front of the other this foot in front this foot in front but I'm kind of slowly, gradually building on something, but I'm still just kind of like, this comes next, this comes next, this, and I do that every morning. Sometimes habits like that can be good as long as you're like slowly building. Good habits are good, but if you are in autopilot mode on some habits that are not so good, here's a big one like scrolling social media, sitting around watching television a lot, sitting around eating potato chips, or, you know, just getting on the phone, shooting the breeze with your buddies when you're not being very productive, but you find that you're kind of like in this cycle of doing these things every day. Those are the things I'm talking about that we need to shake up. So you need to really look at your day. So tomorrow, as you're going through your day, start to notice, oh, is this something that I do every day? I do it at the same time every day and it's just such a habit, but do I need to continue with this? Is this helping serve me to get better? And if the answer is no, I want you to try your best to wipe it out. 
we don't need that anymore. Get it out. We're done with habits that are not helping us grow and expand and be the best version of ourselves. The next hack is really start to watch the people that you hang around with on a regular basis. Now, if it's your kids or your spouse, you know, sometimes that's unavoidable, uh, but maybe with those people, you have a certain way of behaving around those people that you might need to look at. You might need to start being more assertive with these people. Maybe you need to lighten up with these people. The people that you're with all the time in your life that you have no choice about, they're there. They're not going anywhere. Maybe just look at, at your dynamic with them and how can you, maybe it's just a tiny little shift with these people to just adjust things just a little bit, just so that you're shaking things up just a little. You don't want to completely rock the boat with the people that you love, the people that you're in relationships with. You, little shifts, little shifts, you know, like saying, okay, uh, guys, from now on, after dinner, we're not just gonna turn the television on. Uh, we're, we're gonna like start having like game night or something. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Little shifts but kind of change your habits with these people and change the way you interact with these people. If you find that you're kind of always arguing over the same topics, the same little nitpicky things, try to, try to stop that. And then of course there are your coworkers, friends, family, look at those relationships and figure out where are people like pulling me down? Where are people keeping me stagnant, keeping me in the status quo, keeping me in just the day to day, oh, you know, over and over and over. Those people, as hard as this might be, those people are the ones that you need to start either continue like the way we've been going, we need to change some things, these are my ideas, or you need to say, look, I need some space, I need to do my own thing for a little while, I've got some new things I need to start trying to work on. That's Those are hard conversations, but they're important because I want you guys I want you guys to be happy. I want you guys to be thriving. And anytime you're stuck, you are going to have to make some adjustments. Just doing the same things over and over and over again, they're just not, they're not gonna get you to any kind of next level of anything. Now, the fourth thing is start to really look at yourself. Look at your talents and the things that you are good at, the things that you enjoy, and you've got to start figuring out how can I use these things and start moving in this direction? What would I really like if I could just have things, just my biggest dreams, what would that be? and actually start moving in that direction. I'm never gonna be one to tell people, don't follow your dreams. I want you to follow your dreams. I think following your dreams is the healthiest way to go. I think too much of us are taught to squelch our dreams, forget our dreams, just go with regular life. I'm not that girl. I think big. I want you guys to think big too. Start thinking in that direction, like journal about it, meditate on it, visualize. Where do you wanna go? What would just be so amazing? I know you have something in your heart that just, it would just feel so amazing if I could do this. And that's what I want you to start every day, putting that little seed in your head of, that's the direction that I'm gonna go in. 
I'm not going to let my habits slow me down. I'm not going to let the people in my life slow me down. And I'm going to start to do whatever I need to do to go in that direction. Okay. Please let me know what you think about these ideas. How do they sit with you? If they feel uncomfortable, put uncomfortable in the comments and tell me why. And if they feel good or inspiring, I want you to put inspiring and tell me what you're going to do next. What are you excited about? And what would just be like the thing that makes your heart and soul just really get on fire. Okay, I hope that you guys got a little bit of support on this, a little bit of inspiration. It's no joke when you are stuck and you feel stagnant, sometimes it feels like this is the way it's gonna be. This is how it's gonna be forever. I, you, it's Sometimes it's hard to see a way out working on just little shifts in your habits to start kind of going in that direction that you want to really start getting momentum in. Please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that so much and comment down below. I am Kelly Anderson, the Feeling Good Mama. I'm here to serve you. I'm working to build a community of people who are all about lifting up one another, becoming more confident and empowered and more creative. I need you guys to really like start knowing within yourself that you have whatever it takes to make an amazing life. I know that this is hard to believe because we have so many forces coming at us from society telling us all the time it's not possible. I'm here to tell you it is possible. Most of all, you start taking your own steps toward making it happen for you because you can. Check out my website at thefeelinggoodmama.com. Also, check out down in the comments, we have the Feeling Good Assessment. If you're ready to see where you fall in the Feeling Good scale, check out my assessment below. It's gonna help you get clear on the areas in your life that you need to start working on to be really feeling good all the way around, because that's what we want, right? Thank you.